Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> this is Subnautica, which is coming out of early access soon. I'm not sure when because I don't really care. In fact, I didn't even realize that this was at this stage, but if you haven't seen Subnautica before, you're about to. But it's been in early access for a while and I played it a while ago and I quite enjoyed it. But kind of left it to the wayside because it was unfinished and thought, eh, hey, whatever. Uninstalled it, didn't really care. But then I found out it was coming out full version soon and that there was a full story mode implemented and that sort of thing. And I thought, hey, why not give it a try? And why not record it? Because if I've got a fear of anything, it's being underwater with big monsters. And there's a bit of that in here. So we may get the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> So what have we got? Crash land on dangerous alien planet, scavenge resources, and manage hunger thirst to survive. Light survival, but without hunger and thirst. Survival mode with only one life. Or creative. I guess we go survival? Because that seems to be the most generic mode. Don't want to do hardcore because... I'm not hardcore. <laughs> but let's crash land into an alien planet. And uh, see what happens. I've double checked the controls and that sort of thing. Might need to tweak the uh, mouse sensitivity perhaps here and there. But it should be pretty much ready to go. On my other monitor, just to help me out and make life a bit easier, I have a biome map which will show me where all the biomes are on the planet. I can press any button. Let's see what happens. Watch the intro. Oh, look at that. So yeah, we're on this escape pod. Something just blew up. And we just crash landed somewhere. Or we're about to, anyway. <laughs> and we got hit in the face. Bad luck. <laughs> and here we are. Damn, everything's on fire. Holy crap, what do we do? Okay, so this starts off pretty much the same as it always has. Alright. Um, sensitivity's not too bad. Actually, I might have to take that up a little bit. Where's our graphics? No, no. Keyboard, yeah. Don't know why it's in keyboard, but let's pop it up to 30. Just double it a bit. Back to game. Okay. Now, let's just see if there's nothing we want to... Whee! Pick that up. Uh, use. Alright, the fire's out. And I think this is our base of operations for now. This is our thing, our inventory. This is all new since last time I saw it. So it might not be new in the grand scheme of things if you're... Okay. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive. On an alien world. You got it. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. So this looks completely different to last time I looked at it, which was again, as, as I say, it was like over a year ago, probably. You have suffered blah blah blah. Okay, that's exactly what she just said. Cool. Tab to open and close. One, two, three, four to select the corresponding slot. Ah, okay. Yep. Yep. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now. We'll take that. Oh, okay. We've got different things, though. In the bottom left, you can see I've got a bit of health, hunger, thirst. We've got a little O2 reading. Damage radio. I don't have a repair tool. That's okay. We can put away our fire extinguisher for now. Damage secondary system. Need repair tool. Need repair tool. So, blah, 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 everything's offline. So, nothing works. Is there anything in here? There is. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's right. I used... I already... Let's use that. Yes, now I'm at 101 health. Okay, what have we got? Flares. Filtered water. Uh, Right-click to transfer. Cool, we'll take that. We'll take that. 
And we'll take some nutrient block food, why not? Although at the same time, if we die, we won't get it back. Blueprints. Ah, these are all things that we need. Okay. So this is crafting. It's all coming back to me now. Oh, interesting. So we maybe don't have to... Do we still have to discover? I guess we do. Ingredients unknown. Yeah, because there's like different... Let's let's get out of this and let's just go upstairs and see what happens. Some weird flying things. And there's our ship that just crash landed. The Aurora has suffered. Great. 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 So yeah, I've got my I've turned up the FOV a little because it was annoying me previously. Uh, let's dive in and see. Hello. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, this, this game looks pretty freaking beautiful, I have to say. There's definitely no argument about that. So, what do we do? Well, we're stuck on in this ocean world, and it's our job to do stuff. But first of all, we're going to need some food and things. Can we catch this fish? Come on, fishy. Yes. Thank you. We captured a peeper. We can't get that at the moment. We need tools to catch some other stuff. Oh, that's a not a friendly boy. <laughs> I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder if I could just do that. New creature discovered. Oxygen. Oh, got to keep an eye on our oxygen. That's right. So yeah, this is a survival game. This is basically underwater survival gameage. Grab some more fish. We're going to need them to eat. These guys, I think, have water because they're bladder fish, if I remember correctly. It looks very similar to how it was when I first played it, but now it's actually changed a fair bit. Pick up some metal salvage. We'll grab some of these guys. What's this? We we'll grab this guy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Gary fish. Oh, Gary fish. Let's head back and have a look at what we can make out of some fish and stuff. We can at least eat things and that sort of stuff. But yeah, basically we're going to be building a base. We're going to be exploring the oceans around us. We're going to end up exploring that eventually. The Aurora, but it's full of radiation at the moment, so we can't exactly go in there. But let's get into the escape pod and see what we can do with the stuff that we've gathered. You can see we've got a whole bunch of whole bunch of fish, some bladder fish, some mushrooms. What's up? This is all so new. This interface is completely new. Ah, so we can combine salt with fish to cure them. That's pretty interesting. Ah, okay, and this will tell us what... Ah, okay. See, there are components for blueprints out there on the reef and in the water that we can find and utilize. However, obviously, we need resources to do so. So, first of all, first thing we want is a scanner, I think, or a repair tool. So, we're going to need silicon, sulfur, titanium. How, what do we need to make a battery? Filtered water. Ah, so we can get filtered water from a bladder fish, so that's cool. What do we need to make a battery? Acid, mushroom, and copper. Okay, so we need to go find some copper. Okay, so this is cool. We can, we can, you know, get moving. Let's uh, use this. Let's... Ooh, what have we got under personal? Tools. Air bladder. Flotation device. No, thanks. Let's make some water from our bladder fish. Cool. And uh, let's cook a peeper. Oh yeah. The fabricator cooks small organisms 
while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. We even got some titanium because I picked up some metal salvage. This is great. Deployables, waterproof. Oh, because we've got... Oh, no, I didn't want that. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can I deconstruct something? Is that a thing? Uh, well, let, let's eat some f stuff first. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Because over here we're, we'll keep another cooked peeper. Can I deconstruct this thing? Maybe? Maybe not. Beacon manager. Ah. Ah, yeah, because we can create waypoints and stuff, can't we? Photos. We can take photos. That's more tutorial stuff. Data bank. Cool. All right. So a bit of a awkward start. Let's put some stuff in our storage container because we don't need all these mushrooms on us at all times we'll keep the water and we'll keep the paper and we'll get rid of these because <laughs> I can't believe I've made that by mistake <laughs> let's go let's head out and we'll go have a look nearby there's a biome called the kelp forest and the safe shallows so you can see in the shallows we're pretty safe there's not really much that's going to hurt us but then over here is the kelp forest where there's more stuff to discover. Ooh, and there's another kind of fishy. Come here, come here, fishy. Can I grab you? No, you're too fast. There's that guy who's going to want to try and eat us. Break limestone. Okay, that gave us something. <laughs> Brain coral. Got to keep an eye on our oxygen as well. Going to remember that. Those guys scare me a little. And it is getting dark, actually, so... Sun's going down. Let's see if we can find some copper or something else like that. Come here, fishy. It's really easy to get caught up just chasing fish around, which I probably shouldn't do. Give that guy a wide berth. Oh, there's actually a shadow now as well. Yep, it's getting way too dark. Yeah, I heard that roar. I'll take that metal salvage, thank you. Oxygen. Now we can get... Later on we'll be able to get some... Better... Equipment, so we've got like better oxygen and stuff and we can stay underwater longer. We can even build little submarines. And that sort of thing. What did I pick up before? It was just some titanium and stuff. Oh no, metal salvage. Titanium. Yeah, cool. We want to get a radio or a, a repair machine, basically. Convert this salvage into titanium. Because we're going to need titanium for a lot of things. Titanium ingot. Eh, we'll just leave it as it is for now. What's this? Equipment. Oh, what can we build? An O2 tank. Compressed, breathable air. Fire extinguisher, a pipe. Uh, an air pump. And then we can add pipes and we can pipe air somewhere. I wonder if I, if I create an O2 tank. Can I equip that? New blueprint synthesized. Deployables. Oh, damn it, I did it again. I thought that was a category. I'm going to end up with heaps of these bloody floating storage locker bullshit things, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, let's get out of that. Uh, let's go here. Let's just dump our titanium and our other... Oh no, we don't have room for that. Okay. Fair enough. Um, let's grab a couple of these. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Let's just pop up here, I think. Whoa. 
That's a moon. If I remember correctly, the aurora explodes, perhaps, at some point. Okay, so that is equipped. So we've got an extra 30 seconds of oxygen. This whole interface wasn't was different last time I saw it as well. We've got a new blueprint? Question mark? Maybe? Oh, a high capacity tank. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we've discovered that because we made the standard one. Gotcha. That makes sense. That's what I like about this game. A lot of it does make sense with the crafting and all that kind of thing, which is often something that puts me off survival games. However, this is kind of good in that way. Like, And there's loads of stuff to make. Like, Yeah, there's all the components for everything. But then if we go down further, you can see here we've got a knife. We've got a habitat builder, which will help us build a base, which is the very least that we're going to do. We've got all the different base components. We've got different types of walls we've got ways to get power so there's like solar panels but we can also get like thermal power generators we can build fabricators aquariums so we can store fish after we catch them and there's a whole lot more like we can build submarines we can build big fuck off submarines that we can dock other submarines into you know it's rad what we might do right now is just kind of wait for wait for night to pass see if the aurora is going to blow up because I think it does <laughs> and uh, yeah kind of while away the last few minutes but there's lots of stuff to explore like right where we are now like that's obviously the crash zone if I look at the map and the crash zone is like the right, bottom, right, left, the right, bottom quadrant of the map. So that it takes up, this whole area kind of takes up a large portion of the map. So it's not a huge map, but it's big enough that there's plenty of stuff to get around. And some biomes are bigger than others, some are deeper than others, some have big scary monsters, some don't. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of interesting places to see. There's even some islands out there that we can discover. There's at least one that I know of. And there's lots of treasures there for us to pick up and make the most of. Oh, what's that floating over there? Oh, I wonder. Can we go closer? We will eventually hit a radioactive zone. But what is this floating over here? This seems to be fairly shallow, wouldn't you say? I would call it the shallows. Oh, okay, it's just... It's just some coral poking out of the water. But I love you can hear, like... Animals going around. You can hear different species of things kind of making noises. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's one to keep an eye out for. I don't remember them. <laughs> Little explosive bastards. I'm kind of trying to look on the ground for some minerals and that sort of thing. We've got plenty of mushrooms at the moment. We can. Don't have to worry about that. Actually, we've got plenty of oxygen. We can still creep around. Stalker tooth. If that's not ominous, I don't know what is. And it's a great survival game in the way that as you pick up stuff, it'll unlock certain blueprints. But then, of course, there are other blueprints and other things that you need to unlock yourself. So it's a good mix between kind of an auto progression and discovering things. Let's get back up here. 
Whew. Need some water. Let's uh, consume that. I think we get water if we can... No, we don't. Okay. Okay, that's cool. We can go make some some more water eventually. Look at this guy. What a weirdo. Something else out that way. It's just... You know how these games can be so overwhelming when you start? It's a bit like that at times. Well, there's so much to see and do. So many bits and pieces to unravel. At the moment, I'm kind of looking for minerals, but I also don't want to get too far away in case the ship explodes. But we do have that extra oxygen tank, so we can go a little bit further. Oh, here's something. Copper! Beautiful. That's nice. Our survival probability, probability is now from has increased from unlikely to plausible. Oxygen. Oh, my, my bad. <laughs> I gotta remember to watch that meter. Hey, totally forget about it. All right. Wait. Uh. But yeah, I mean. If being underwater and a big open deep water is something that scares you, welcome. Because <laughs> it's something that scares me. Like, I'm not joking. Like It's literally the thing that gives me the heebie-jeebies is um, the idea of being kind of lost in deep open water where... You can't even see how far it goes because it's just so wide. Like this sort of shallow end. This doesn't bother me. This is fine. This is like the paddling pool. This is like, you know, little bits of minerals, little bits of whatnot. Lots of little fishies. Oh, come here. Can I get you? No, I probably need something bigger for you, don't I? That's cool. But, uh, you know, this is fine. This is all like groovy. Oh, oh, that Oxygen. looks bad. It's one of those guys. God damn it. <laughs> hey, check this about. We can probably walk around. Okay, so watch out for little caves and stuff, because there are dudes in there who want to explode. One thing to remember. And I like how this game gives you your depth as well. Like, how deep down you are and all that sort of stuff. It's kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, this... If I was actually in this situation, I would just be freaking the fuck out. And I would never leave my little capsule. Which is... You know, part of why I thought maybe this would be interesting to do. <laughs> as a little experiment. Yeah, don't, maybe it's not going to blow up. So we'll ignore that for now. I think in the original it, it blew up a lot quicker. <laughs> well, let's uh, grab some water. Because we do need a bit. We're only half watered. We've got a cooked paper. We'll eat that. Grab some more water. Grab some more water. And we've got one bladder fish which we can... We're running out of storage though actually aren't we? Yeah look at this. Hmm... Alright, so we're going to have to start making stuff with gusto. Oh, electronics. Copper wire. Ooh. Enameled glass. How do we make a battery? Oh, we need mushrooms. We've got mushrooms. Give me some mushrooms. Because what was it I wanted to make? Honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> I kind of want to just dump these. So I'll take them. 
but we'll get rid of them anyway. Use Fabrica. Fabri Fabrica? Fabrica. Fabricator. Let's make some filtered water. Nice, let's cook this peeper. Because why not? Uh, let's make a battery. Nice. What else can we make? Okay, equipment. Fins. Uh, tools. Aha, scanner. Technology blueprints and data on living organisms. Repair tool. I need sulfur for that and silicon. So let's make a scanner because we're going to need that. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Indeed it can. What else can we make? Pipes, that sort of stuff. Cool. Another O2 tank. Actually, can we equip two O2? Oh, we can make another battery. Let's do that. You never know. We might need to replace the battery. I can't remember how they work, but I think the batteries do actually run out on things. So let's get out of here. Uh, oh, I should convert these to, to titanium, shouldn't I? So yeah, that is... What's this all about? Uh, I th can I equip this to one of these? No? Okay, they must be just wearables. Gotcha. Cool, I'm going to drink that water. Keep the battery. Yeah, this has a charge. Yeah, so, of course. No problems. Ooh, power cell. Two batteries and a silicon rubber. Hmm. What do we need for a repair tool? That's the silicon and the sulfur. What do we need for this? A computer chip and a wiring kit. What do we need for a wiring kit? Computer chip. Table coral. Gold co Oh, but we need something. A knife. Survival knife on silicon. Because a knife will let us chip away at coral and that sort of thing. Which is pretty cool. So that means we'll be able to gather more stuff. But for now, let's uh, pop these away. Pop these away. I am going to deploy these just to kind of get them out of the inventory. Let's put that away as well. Let's just fabricate some titanium. As much as we've got. Hopefully it's not night time. You see how power's going down. But I think that actually regenerates. Let's make an ingot. Just for storage sake. I think that power actually does regenerate in this little module. Let's put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. And we'll deploy these two. When we're out of out of here. Alright, back up the ladder. Cool, not night time yet. Uh, down we go. There we go, there's one. There's two. Two little storage lockers right next to the thing. <laughs> Scan myself. <laughs> Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Come here. I want to scan you. Damn it. <laughs> it's probably a waste of my power, actually. <laughs> I should scan things like this. Should be catching more of these guys. Little pink buggers, come here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Because they are how we get water at the moment. Wait, come here. You can get... There are different ways to do it eventually. But initially, you just got to grab those guys who... Filter the water for you. Man, this dude. What a prick. Scan the mushrooms. Oh, need oxygen. It's always the, the ox. Ooh, there's some dugong looking dudes over there. 
We're actually getting quite close to the Aurora. No problem. Let's scan some coral. Hello, coral. Oh, hello. Don't eat me, please. Haha, <laughs> you're bugging out and you can't eat me. <laughs> oh, that's a stalker. So when I picked up a stalker tooth, it was one of those guys' tooth. Gotcha. That makes sense. What are these guys? I think these guys, like, poop out explosive things, for want of a better word. Poop out explosives if you agitate them, but otherwise they're benign. Yeah, see, look, they're pooping. Shitting out the explosive things. Gasopod. What the hell was that noise? Is that these guys? Sound like an old man going, ooh, ooh, get out of my way. How am I going for oxygen? Plenty of oxygen. It's getting dark again. Wow. What the frick? Did you explode? I don't know, man. Trying to agitate those dudes, obviously. Trying to find some more minerals. Without venturing too far away from home. I want to build a knife. I haven't scanned you yet. Ah. Now it's going to explode. <laughs> Maybe not now, but... Soon. <laughs> oh, hello, fish. How are we going for food and stuff? Yeah, we're fine. Let's, uh... Let's just pop down here and make some water out of these dudes that we just caught. Because we always need water. Thank you. Do I have anything else in my inventory I need to get rid of? Nope. No, I could afford to eat that. They do eventually go off if you just kind of leave stuff in your inventory. What a beautiful evening. Look at this massive planet that seems to be so close that it's moving really, really fast. I mean, I know it's an, it's an accelerated cycle. But that looks really weird. <laughs> but once this dude does explode, if he does, because he used to back in the day, but if it explodes... Oh, there's that blink. Oh. Or maybe they're my storage things. I'm not the only one who saw something. There, there's something blinking. Hey, blinking. So much to do. So much. Oh, interesting. St what is going on there? Things to explore. Things to explore. I mean, that scares me because that could be f a trap. <laughs> You know. Dems the brakes. Is there any way we can just, like, wait till morning? No. Let's save, though. <laughs> Play it safe. Ah. Uh, sitting out here. Top of our escape pod. Watching this planet do an entire circuit. Because it's weird like that. Waiting for a spaceship to explode. Hmm, what a great way to start off our time in Subnautica. <laughs> Goodness me. But hey, this should be interesting. It's freaky as hell to me. <laughs> and I'm not usually one to play games that freak me out. I tend to avoid them. For 
you know, obvious reasons. Because, especially at night, like, look, I mean, look at this. What a creepy environment. You can barely even see that way. And when you get further and further out and you explore more, then you start seeing big animals and alien monsters moving around in the depths. Moving around in the depths. I know, I said that funny. But, uh, what is that blinky? I have to find out what that blink is, but preferably during the day. Yeah, that. What is that? Hello? Flash, flash, flash. Nothing. Flash, flash, flash. Nothing. My good gravy. What does it take to make a flashlight or a torch? Bit of glass. Okay, well we don't have that. And I need silicon rubber. Man, I'd love to get some hands on some silicon. Make a knife. But yeah, these things like mobile vehicle bay and sea glide and stuff, we have to find... We basically have to find wrecked versions underwater. Oh, okay, these are the guys that we've been... Gotcha. We've been, uh... Scanning. Cool. Survival package. Start here. If you're reading this, then you've survived an emergency evacuation of a couple of... Blah, 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 blah. Your PDF... Blah, 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 Okay. Survival checklist. First aid. Take inventory of... Things, survey the environment, construct survival equipment, check life pod for damage, broadcast local distress signal, locate other survivors, find or construct a more permanent habitat, maintain physical blah blah blah. Warning. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. That's just telling us that the blueprints are not all there and there's here's a justification why. And it's morning again. <laughs> So, yeah, I know this has been a lot of standing around. <laughs> but partly because I'm a bit of a chicken. And partly because... I want that ship... I want to wait for the ship to explode and I don't want to miss it. But we might miss it while we're... swimming around down here. What's that? Is that a thing? No, there's all these, there's all these like dark colorations on the side of things that make me look like I can grab them. Make me feel like I can grab them. But hey, what are you gonna do? Now I think we can actually harvest this stuff. Thirty seconds. Oh. Maybe we need a knife to harvest this. Yeah, because we can't do it now. We probably need a knife to harvest a lot of things, hey. Still looking for... Things to... Oh. Oxygen. Salt deposit. Seven seconds, we're probably going to take some damage here. Let's put that away. Yeah. We are going to take some damage. But I got some salt! Oh, we're blacking out. Nah, no, we're okay. It's all good. <laughs> all that for some salt, huh? Uh, let's drink some water because we're getting a bit dehydrated. That's the thing. When you're surrounded by water, you forget that you still need some water. Oh, goodness me. Oh, can we come in from the bottom? I think we can, can't we? Yeah. Check that out. Beautiful. Got to remember that. Well... Seeing as this guy isn't exploding anytime soon, or so it would seem that it's not, I'm going to call it here for today. <laughs> so stay tuned. These episodes will come in, you know, hopefully at a regular pace, but like anything on my channel, 
it's whenever I can get around to it. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But they should be lengthy enough like this one. Like, but at least I'd like to go for at least half an hour or so to really get some progress done. But let's see what we can do in Subnautica and see if there's more to discover. Because there is. But hey, we'll hopefully discover it together. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.